everyone. Good morning. Today is Monday morning and we are going to do some makeup, but I wanted to show you a few things that I ordered. I've shown you some of these before, but I ordered them from Nordstrom. This video is in partnership with Nordstrom and these are the laundry balls. Remember when I told you that I thought these, I don't know. I mean, it would be a good gift if it was that type of person. Like me, I love laundry. Last night I was folding clothes and John always says, I swear it would give you so much more time if you had somebody do the laundry, but I enjoy it. I enjoy it. I don't mind. I don't know. I just thought I've never minded doing the laundry. So these are fresh new laundry balls in different colors. And if you use these, isn't it hilarious where these things end up? These are a little bit bigger than my other ones, but they will be in pockets, in the hood, in, you know, it's just so funny where they end up. And then here are the, the good colors. Place three or more of us in the dryer to hop along with each load. We'll team up for shorter drying times, less lint and static and soft, fluffy laundry. Dab us with a few drops and we'll share the scent as we spin. So I did get like lavender at first when I got them, you know, and I would put the lavender on there to make your clothes smell like lavender. I just haven't done that since, but I might do it. What I think is it helps, you know, like if you are drying a small load, like I do a lot of laundry I do it every day. So my loads most of the time aren't a big load. And then if I separate a few things out and you're left with like three pieces, like two t-shirts and one pair of pants, you need something to kind of get it fluffy. That's especially what I think they're good for. And I just keep them in there. You know, I always have to like chase them down when I'm folding. But so I wanted to show you those because I had mentioned them before. And then this next thing I can't believe I got this. I got the Big Daddy Orbe Gold Lust Leader Set. And I mean, isn't that beautiful? So that is one thing I wanted to tell you is now is a great time. Oh my goodness, look at this. Now is a great time to get many different like holiday gift sets. Of course, they're good for gifts, but they're also good for us because we get bigger, you know, you get bigger things for less money. And a lot of times too, I like it when, like today, for instance, I'm gonna use one of these. I like it when you can get a variety of kind of like small things. Like the chances of me using all of any of these is kind of small. So it's nice to be able to get these sets and be able to, like this is a Stroke of Midnight brush collection, a small little collection from, this is a good gift from Laura Mercier. And then this is the Set for Perfection Translucent Less Setting Powder and Puff, and it's a um, pink puff. I, I want to throw some kind of favorites in here too. So this has been one of my favorites. This scent is the Valentino Donna, and they have some really pretty gift sets. I know I'm gonna wash this after I wear it. Oh my goodness, it smells so good. It is, it smells like Christmas, and I don't mean like a Christmas tree or like food. It smells like shopping and everybody being dressed up and just that happy feeling, just that fancy department store smell. So I have enjoyed this so much. Okay, but I wanted to show you this big boy and I promise I won't talk a whole bunch after this, but I haven't even taken this out. This is the conditioner. What is it about a pump? There is something about shampoo and conditioner with the pump. And like I said, ever since I got that first gift set, which I will link that gift set too, it's just I'm not out of the oil yet. Ever since I got that, and then there's there's several different Orbe gift sets, but I like this shampoo. It is the Gold Lust Repair and Restore. So that is the shampoo and conditioner. Isn't that beautiful just to sit in your shower? Two more things I ordered, and I did pay for all of this. I just love this foundation so much. It is just 
fabulous. It is the best coverage. I'm getting ready to use it and you'll see it. It is just beautiful. So what I did is I am either an MA3 or so medium, what is the, I can't remember what the A stands for now, but it's medium, warm, three or medium neutral three. So I got the medium warm, I cannot remember, ombre. I think that's what it stands for. So I, anyway, I got the twos, you know, under. I don't know why I'm obsessed with getting the lighter shade because I may never need these. I've been loving the MN3 lately. And so I just ordered another one. I'm just scared to death they're gonna quit selling it or something. But just so good, just such a good foundation. How does it differ from Estee Lauder Double Wear? I use Estee Lauder Double Wear and then I go over it with this Bare Minerals. This is another thing that is a Christmas edition. You get more for the same price and Bare Minerals has a lot of different gift sets too. People love Bare Minerals. That is a great gift. The difference is this is gonna be more of my glowy, the same makeup I've been wearing lately glowy, less powder, just a few powders, and just more of a vibrant. When I do the Estee Lauder, it is bulletproof. I mean, I have to kind of break it apart that night before I can even, you know, wash it off because it is so set, which I love that. So that is great if you're working all day. It's great for photos. This, I may look a little oily in photos, but I just, I don't care most of the time. This Chanel one, and I like it. It's the, the Le Lift Fluid, which, so it's skincare and kind of like a primer. It's supposed to be a little mattifying. I don't really find it mattifying, but I do love the smell. Oh my goodness. I know a lot of you don't like scents, but it doesn't linger and it's just I love anything that makes me feel fancy. I usually try to go ahead and start slicking back these crazy eyebrows. And that is it for that. Now this is the MN3. And I want you to behold the coverage of this. Okay, so it's just two pumps. I do one pump on, I usually start on this side. And I try to kind of spray it around. Cover all the places I want to cover first. And then I can kind of do the edges and I won't have to go far down my neck today. I'm gonna try to look right in here so you can see. And I come right up to my eyes in here. Now this next pump, because I've already done this, this pump will go a little bit further and I can kind of cross over. And it's just beautiful. Whenever I'm kind of, um, I guess melancholy, just kind of not really depressed or anything, but just kind of like, mm -hmm. like I may not even feel like going anywhere or anything. Whenever I start doing my makeup, especially with this and the Estee Lauder, it has to be something I really love. And then I instantly look so much better. It's amazing how motivating that is. If you, I mean, really, it's so true and I can't, get, can't wait to get back into my soul talks about things that you have to do that you to make your life happy and that you may not want to do, but if you do them, it helps so much. Okay. One thing I've really realized too is you may have to adjust your concealer, which ones you use to your foundation, which duh, but I always felt like I used enough of the same tones so that it wouldn't matter, but like this is a neutral, so I don't want to use a really warm concealer. And 
I don't really, I'm not really into that real bright under eye. So I use a lot less. Matter of fact, we're not gonna do it until the end. But see how pretty that is? Trying to back up and then get close for you to see everything. I think I'm gonna do something radical and use a purple today on my eyes. A darker, just for something different. Okay, it's back. <laughs> this bronzer is amazing to me. I just can't say enough good about it. So, it brush, dab it in, and contour away or bronze away. I'm going around my hairline. I like sculpted cheekbones. If you don't, then you may want to go up higher and for that more bronzy look. I am just kind of shaping my face. I think you just have to go with what you got and work it. I was thinking about that with plants this morning. I got some new plants over the weekend in the mail, which is so cool. And, you know, I wish we as young girls realized what makes us different and unique is, our, is what's special. Like all these plants that I want that are rare that are none of these were real expensive but it's because they're weird it's because they are so different they're crazy looking they don't look like every other plant and speaking of crazy you hear chanel she is certified nuts but why don't we know that when we're young is that all i'm going to use this for i do use this on my eyes sometimes but today I want to use an eyeshadow. So I always make sure I have this back on the little seal correctly and seal it up. And this is the darker shade. Don't be scared of it. The tone is so much better. It's tan deep bronze and I store it upside down so it does not dry out. Of all the hourglass palettes and single powders and bronzers and everything I've ever had, I think this is my absolute favorite. I had no idea I would love it this much. It is phenomenal. So I have been using this, I think every day, and some days I even use, maybe we'll do it today, I even use that highlighter as my inner corner or lid color. But what I love doing is, this is supposed to be just an all over face powder. Well, for me, it's a little too, to, it's, it's almost like a highlighter to me. So what I do is take my brush and go in that all over face powder and kind of go over the tops of my cheeks like that. And then I go into, I love this blush the most. It doesn't look like it's gonna have a lot of color, but it does. So I go into the blush and I kind of go right in between where I put the bronzer and that last powder. And I think it is just beautiful. It's just perfect, just enough color for me. I'll leave this out just in case. I've been, you know, looking at different brow products because I feel like sometimes I might bore you guys using the same thing over and over, but their brows are so important and I just can't find anything that I want to use or that I like as much. And i just, this color is just the best to me. It's medium brown. You can see how much I have used of it and it's Anastasia. So I've been just doing maybe the light side the most. And I started out right here and I don't do a lot but it's just, it doesn't take a lot to make a big difference. So, I mainly do the top and the end like that. And then I take the brush, brush them out. And we gotta do some lips. I usually have my lips done by now. And then Benefit Brow 
slicker backer. I get to this point I feel especially with lips I feel like I'm gonna be okay I also got a new lip gloss that I'm gonna also use I don't know I might use something different in a future video but what lip liner do I want what lip liner do I want let's play it safe and go with Lancome Ideal and see how I have even though there's no color I have that little bit of a lip right there. I go right on that. yet I've uh, tested it a little bit it is the Dior lip maximizer and it is I think it's a special edition but look at it uh, oh my goodness. and it um, smells minty they the main thing is hyaluronic acid in here to plump up your lips but it does have a little bit of a minty smell so i'm assuming that maybe there's a little bit of like peppermint in here too which is a natural plumper it, that is beautiful if you don't like the little glisten and sparkle there's also in the regular collection there's a beigey one love it so this one is Shimmer Nude. We're going to go with that. See, like right now, I could leave. I don't even need any eye makeup. But because I told myself this morning I was going to just shock you guys with some purple, I think. I think I saw that there's amethyst in here. Amethyst. And then copper and cocoa oh my goodness okay let me swatch them okay Ooh, yeah cocoa ain't no joke amethyst this is one of their best sellers and and it's it's not too purpley this is definitely what we're using and then this is uh, copper Ooh. Wow, okay, copper may be good. Right here. I love a stick shadow. I think it is one of the most, what am I trying to say? For the aging woman or mature woman or anyone who doesn't like powdery and is worried about their eye wrinkles, um, who doesn't like stuff flaking down in their eyes. My mom's real sensitive, sensitive to that. They're just awesome. And they're so easy to use. Wow, that is really pretty. Okay, I'm gonna keep this out too. Amethyst, yeah. This is how I always start out because I always want to lift my eyes. So I'm gonna do, and because my eyes are deep set, I'm not gonna go deep into my crease because I don't want them deeper. I'm gonna go on that bone so that I can recess the bone and somewhat bring my eyes out, make them look bigger. So what I do is just start lightly and trace out this line like that. I like to layer a little bit at a time. And I use, I don't do, like sometimes when I see makeup artists do one eye the whole way, and then, you know, I'll come back with the other eye done. I don't know if I could do that because 
I don't know, I just try to do each eye basically the same. So really, wow, that's a beautiful color. No wonder that one is so popular. But we're gonna build it up, but you could stop there. So let's do more. And I like to bring mine out. I may even use a little bit more after we do liner, like that. I have to say, when I, I'm using my phone, which is the newest iPhone, to film, I always look just terrible in the phone. I don't really know what I really look like. <laughs> sometimes it's better and sometimes it's even worse when I'm editing. But you know what? This is real life. I know in my head I'm posting this tonight and it's gonna be real. Okay, I like that. I think that's enough, but I'm gonna take this and run it underneath my eyes, kind of match it up. Ooh, isn't that amazing what that adds? Love it. And I think I'm gonna leave my lids bare. I might do a little bit of this like that. And I'm, I would, well, I'm scared I'm gonna mess it up with cocoa. But that had never stopped me before. Let's use a little bit of cocoa just along the lash line like that. Yep. So these darker ones you can, you know, use as eyeliner. I wonder if that's set already. They last. Okay. We are gonna use a little bit of concealer because I can see like my darkness right there, but we're gonna wait. These two. Wow, the other day, sometimes when I'm doing my makeup, I just, I guess I'm not thinking and I just, you know, you throw something somewhere that you, you don't put it up in the right place. You kind of put it down where everything else is. And I had thrown one of these, might be the brown one, I'm not sure, into here and it was so it was just sitting like that. They're so much better. I always store them straight up. And this, I really need a new brown one anyway, but I've been loving how it's kind of light. So I'm gonna do my wing with the brown first. can feel that working on my lips. I take the black and I just do a baby wing like this so that I can set my lashes down on this and I just like the way it looks. It's almost like you only notice the black, but you faintly notice that it still lifts without being just drastic eyeliner. If I would have done that with the black, it would have been a much different look. It doesn't take much of this black in here to really enhance your eyelashes. Okay, it looks like that other one was thicker, so I can now thicken it up. Okay, we're gonna bust out with a new mascara that is supposed to be just the best, and it's the Dior Show Iconic Over Curl. Let's see what it does before I even put glue on my lashes, even though I'm gonna put glue on my lashes. I just know I like my makeup better with some lashes. You know, yesterday I was looking at the um, 
like Nordstrom gift section. And one thing I thought was interesting, you know how some guys are really hard to buy for? There was a, I can't remember the exact, the line. It was one of those nice cologne little sample sets, maybe Creed or one of those. I thought that was a good gift too. Dior Show Iconic Overcurl. So I'm hoping it still gives me the bulk of the pump and volume, but it keeps your lashes curled up. But mascara is such a personal thing to me. It just depends on your lashes and see, I like clumpy lashes, but I know some people that's, that's what they're trying to avoid, is clumpy lashes. If you want just long, long separated lashes, I think the best one ever, I used it for years, is Lancome Definisils, just to define them. So far, I'm liking this. Mine are long enough because I use Flash Growth Serum, but they are, um, you know, I guess I only have X amount of lash roots. I would say that is pretty good. Would you? I'm not gonna mess with it. And I don't like liner or mascara on my lower lashes. And I was trying to think what concealer I want to try today. I really love the Dior Forever 1.5. You can see I've used it a lot, and I like this. I think let's do this just because I haven't done anything different in a while. What I'm going to do, I'm going to put it on my hand first. And I'm going to basically rub it into my hand and then come up here. And get right in there. That keeps you, most of the time, when I don't do this, it's out of pure silly laziness. And I've trained myself again to do it and it's really the Sicily you don't have to do this with, but most other ones, you just don't want too much. You would rather, I would rather have dark circles than too much concealer. And then I'm gonna just work that in there. Like that, just lip gloss. Now, if you don't want to use Lancome Ideal, like you like Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk or something like that that's um, maybe more close to your lip color, then do that because this lip gloss is going to just kind of morph into whatever you put on. I always wonder if I should cut this part out because you've seen me do this a good uh, hundred times now. I set this down right there basically where I have put that black. Okay, that was a mistake, don't do that. Wait to use your lash tool. Now I've got to, because see now it'll have sticky stuff on it or wet mascara that'll make the next one mess up. Just curb your enthusiasm. <laughs> I don't know what made me think of that. And there. Okay, I feel it like it, I felt it sit down. But I know with my eyes being so rounded, if I don't squeeze that down right there, it may pop up later. And that really gets them to go in together too. The only thing is, don't, once you do this, when you 
get tired and you want to take your lashes off, don't just pull them off because they're going to be really into your lashes. You need to, if you're like me and you like to use your lashes over and over again, what I do is take a Q-tip, some eye makeup remover, and I will just run it along there and just kind of let it seep in. Not a whole bunch, just not like dripping or anything. And then gently pull it. Are we done? Are we done? Are we done? This is, what, third day hair. I did put in some dry shampoo, but I finally learned how to make my blowouts last and my curls. And I think that's it, you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found or saw something that you liked. I am very happy. Thank goodness, thank goodness. I almost thought of just doing a haul video or something for Nordstrom, which thank you to Nordstrom for asking me to do this. But I've had so many bombs lately and it's, it's very um, discouraging, you know? But I really like this and I hope you did too. And leave me your comments down below and I will see you probably on Wednesday. See you then, bye-bye.